We're going to set the set points on an L or a G series switch. The L and the G series switches are similar to each other. One has a stainless steel case, one has a die cast aluminum case. To start with, we would mount the L series to the calibration fixture. We are going to remove the cover by removing the two screws on the top of the switch. The cover will lift off. Now, we also have to wire the switch to our light box. The common contact is in front. The normally open contact is in the center. And the normally closed contact is at the top. Ashcroft's wiring code is the white wire is connected to the normally, or the contact. The blue wire is connected to the normally open. And the red wire is connected to the normally closed. The first step of calibration is to exercise the switch to make sure it is operating correctly. To exercise a switch, start from 0 PSI and increase to full range of the switch. In this case, 100 PSI and then return back to 0. This should be done three times. Now we'll be ready to set our switch. We are going to set this switch to 80 PSI increasing pressure. So the first step would be to go from zero to 80 PSI and hold it there. We will then adjust the switch to operate at 80 PSI. You'll note that the switch did turn on ahead of the set point, but that is okay. We are going to adjust it so it will turn off and then turn back on again at the set point. To do that, we set the pressure to the desired set point, 80 PSI. To increase the set point, we turn the knob clockwise. We will continue to adjust until the switch turns off. That will be the green light turning to red. At that point, we will then slowly back the switch off, which is counterclockwise until it turns on. Now we will lower the point to zero and measure the set point to see if we have it exact. If it's not exact, we will make a fine adjustment and set it to be exactly at 80. We always start at zero. We'll bring the pressure up to just before 80 and then we will slow it down and get to the exact set point. In this case, we're virtually on 80. So that's a pretty good set point. And then we will lower the pressure to measure the reset point. And that looks like it's just over 2 PSI. So we have a set point of 80 and a reset point of approximately 78. So we have a dead band of 2. We want to verify our set point by measuring it three times. We always go back to zero. And then we raise the pressure up to just before our anticipated set point, which we set to 80. And then we slowly approach 80. And we should see the activation right on 80. And then we would go back very slowly and measure the deactivation for our dead band. That's our reset point. And then we would take it back to zero before we went up and measured the set point again. It is normal to repeat set point measurements three times to verify repeatability. Now we're going to set a G-series switch with a decreasing set point. The G-series is like the L-series in its mechanism, 
And the big difference is the case material. The G Series is a 316L case. So the first thing we will do is we'll remove the cover. We have already wired the switch up. The normally open connection is a blue wire. The normally closed connection is a red wire. The common connection is a white wire. The first step of calibration is to exercise the switch to make sure it is operating correctly. To exercise a switch, start from zero PSI and increase to full range of the switch. In this case, 100 PSI and then return back to zero. This should be done three times. At this point, we're ready to do a decreasing set point. We're going to set this switch to 20 pounds on the decrease. So as always with an Ashcroft switch, you want to take it to full range and then lower it down to 20. So we're going to go up to 20 pounds. And you will note that the switch will turn on at a much higher point, but that's OK. We're going to adjust it to operate at the 20 pound decreasing set point. So we go up to 100, and then we drop it down to 20, and we want to Lock it in at 20 pounds. With the pressure at 20 pounds, we are now going to turn the adjustment knob counterclockwise or raise it up to lower the set point of the switch. We're going to keep going counterclockwise until we have the light Turn on. Now we're going to turn it clockwise until it just turns off. Now we will measure the set point to see if we have set it correctly. So to do that, we will drop it to zero and then take it to 100 pounds. And then we will go down and measure the set point. So we will rise. Up to 100. And then we will lower the switch down to just before our desired set point quickly. And then from there, we will go slowly until the switch resets, which is our decreasing set point. And this is very close to 20 on the decrease. And then we'll raise it up to the point at which it turns on, which is just about 22. So it's approximately two PSI dead band on this switch. So now what we want to do is we want to repeat this measurement three times to make sure that we have set the switch correctly. For set points on vacuum range switches, it is best to think of the set point as a negative pressure. So an increasing vacuum set point is a decreasing pressure set point and a decreasing vacuum set point is an increasing pressure set point.